sights that he sees are surprising and stranger than ever you'll see on the land. He moves among creatures of frightening features, flashing teeth, slashing jaws, flapping, fin slapping claws. He protects and he saves his friends under the waves. That's where you'll find Diver Dan. The sea is a strange and mysterious realm, a kingdom of mystery. But if you could walk the ocean floor, what wonders you might see. Swordfish and crayfish and green, red and gray fish and eels with a powerful sting. And fish who can walk and some who can talk and a few that can actually sing. For west of Sargasso and east of Cape Hatteras, not far from the famous Gulf Stream, an adventure began when some friendly fish sadly sang this theme. Water, water everywhere, way below and above us. Won't somebody learn to care? We have no one to love us. No one to tuck us in bed each night. No one to teach us what's wrong. No fairy godmother standing by, ready to sing us a lullaby. Ah, Say, look, over there. What is it, Finney? A beautiful ladyfish. A, a mermaid. A, a mermaid? mermaid? Minerva, the beautiful mermaid, met with our friends of the deep. And true to her word, she would often be heard singing the fish to sleep. But when the dim rays of morning light came and the fish were feeling chipper, they would play a game as each fish's name was called out by Skipper Kipper. Stop pushing. Okay, I'm gonna call the roll now. Uh, Finley Haddock. Here, Skipper Kipper. Uh, Surgeon Sturgeon. Here, Skipper Kipper. Sam Sawfish. Present and accounted for. Goldie Goldfish. <coughs> well, let's see now, who'd I forget? 
You forgot me, Skipper Kipper. No, Horace, I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. Everybody forgets me. Well, Miss Minerva, all hands present and accounted for. Very good, Skipper. Got any orders for the day, Miss Minerva? Yes. Today we learn the alphabet. That's a nice idea. I'd certainly like to learn all those letters. Very well. Here goes. Now you have to repeat after me in some places. A is for an apple. A is for an apple. B is for a beet. B is for a beet. C is for my collar. D is for my dollar. E is what I eat. E is what I eat. F is fiddle and G is griddle and H is hold my hand. And I is me and J is Japanese sand man. K is for my kitten. K is for my kitten. L is lemonade. L is lemonade. M is for my mitten. N is for my napkin. P is for parade. P is for parade. Q and Dar are both quite right. S and T are sitting tight. U is umbrella. V is vanilla. W stands for when. And Y is you. All that's left is Z for zoo. Now there's nothing for us to do but start all over again. Good, let's try it. I know the whole thing already. How about you, Horace? A is for an apple. A is for an apple. B is for a B. Yes. B is for a beat. C is for my collar. D is for my dollar. E is what I eat. That's right. E is what I eat. F is fiddle and G is griddle and H is hold my hand. And I is me. And J is Japanese salmon. K is for my kitten. Meow. L is lemonade. M is for my mitten, M is for my napkin, P is for parade, P is for parade, Q and R are both quite right, S and T are sitting tight, U is umbrella, V is vanilla, W stands for when, X marks the spot and Y is U, all that's left is Z for zoo. Now there's nothing for us to do but start all over again. Stop! We forgot the letter O. O? O. Gee, that's right, Miss Minerva. As I recall, there is a letter O. Uh, what does O stand for, anyway? Well, now, let me see. O stands for many things. I know. O is for an onion. Onion? onion? Well, what is an onion, Miss Minerva? Hmm. Well, an onion is a vegetable and a cousin to the lily. And if you try to peel one, you'll look a little silly. Yeah. Well, why? I'll bet I know why. Once I met a grunion with a handkerchief on his eye. He blamed it on an onion because it made him... What? What? Cry. Cry? That's right. Onions will make you cry. I don't know why they make you cry, but it's a fact you can't deny. Onions will make you cry. I don't need an onion to make me cry. Reverse well, there, Horace. Be quiet a second, will you? Onions will make you weep. Whether or not you've lost your sheep, you're going to be like little Bo Peep. Onions will make you weep. Well, I still say... I'm down, Horace. Felly wants to say something. If you don't believe us, give it a try. Uh, what do you mean, eh, Felly? Peel an onion. You will certainly cry. Does anything else make you cry? Orange, lemon, lime, and tangerine, too. What about them? Can't do to you what an onion can do. Oh. Onions will make you cry I don't know why they make you 
you cry, but it's so fat you can't deny. Onions will make you cry. Hey, here comes Doc with some papers in his hand. Uh, what does it say, Doc? All the latest scientific reports. What do they say, Doc? Shows that onions can't cure bunions and warts. Well, gee, is that all? But these same reports have clearly revealed. Well, don't keep us in suspense. Someone cries each time an onion is peeled. Oh. Onions will make you cry. I don't know why they make you cry. But it's so fat you can't deny. Onions will make you cry. Oh, it's <laughs> My dear, dear friends of the sea, I really hate to disagree, but peel an onion under my eye, and Baron Barracuda shall never cry. Hey, yeah, that's right, Boos. Quiet, Trigger. Okay, Baron, I'll nibble at the bait. Why don't you cry? Actually, it's a very simple phenomenon. I'll explain it to you. I'm the toughest creature of the sea. The other fish are all afraid of me, for none of them is half so tough as I, and that is why I never cry. But am I tough because I never cry? Or do I never cry because I'm tough? Well, whatever reason there may be, no one ever gets the best of me. And my friends, there is no mystery. I'm the toughest creature of the sea. I feel strong as I swim along. Hey! All the fish fear to hear my song. Hey! Friend or foe tremble in their shoes. Hey! In a fight, I can never lose. Yeah. I'm the toughest creature of the sea. It didn't happen accidentally. I had to practice each and every day to get the way I am today. I practiced every day when I was small. Now all the fishes tremble when I call. Now, my friends, you know the reason why Tons of onions couldn't make me cry All your rules do not apply to me I'm the toughest creature of the sea Every fish trembles when I call Hey! Send me sharks, I can beat them all Hey! Giant squid, porpoises and whales Hey! One by one, I'll pull them by their tails For I... The toughest creature of the sea. Hey! The vast there, Baron. Porpoises cry, whales cry, even sharks cry once in a while. You mean to say you're tougher than they are? Could there be any doubt? You know something, Baron? You're so wrong-headed, I almost feel sorry for you. Phew. I don't care a fig for your opinion. Hey there, boss, what's a fig? How should I know? It's just an expression. Well, a fig is something like an onion, only it's very sweet. A fig doesn't make you cry, does it? No, only an onion does that. And a conscience. My dear, dear mermaid, nothing can make me cry. Well, you can say that easy enough, because you know we don't have an onion down here. Boy, I sure wish we did. I know where we can get an onion. Where? where? Sally's supermarket. That's where I get my surgical supplies. Sally? Yes, haven't you ever heard of Sally? She sells seashells by the seashore. Why, that's great. What are we waiting for? Yeah, hey, that's yeah, right. Great. Come on, let's, let's, let's go. go. We're on our way to Sally's, to Sally's supermarket. We're gonna buy an onion to make the baron cry. Be 
Well, did you hear that? Uh, yeah, I heard it, boss. So what? We must stop them at all costs. Yeah, boss, that ought to be some fun. Fun? It would destroy my career. Uh, how come there, boss? Uh, you mean if they peel an onion into your eye, you... Why do you think I wear this monocle? Yes, I am a crybaby. It is the shame of my life. Up to now, I've kept it a secret, but if my friends found out about it, I'd be the laughing stock of the Seven Seas. Somehow, we must prevent Minerva and her friends from giving me the onion test. Gee, uh, how are we going to do it, boss? I don't know yet, but we must think of something. And will you please stop calling me boss? Call me Baron once in a while. Okay, Baron once in a while. Oh. Wait a minute, friends of the deep. What if the Baron doesn't weep? What if he doesn't start to bawl? Or doesn't shed a tear at all? Who will save us? Who will deliver us? If the Baron should get carnivorous? Hold your horses, Surgeon Sturgeon. In my head, a plan is emerging. If the Baron should give us trouble, Diver Dan will come down in a double! Gee, you sure are sharp, Swordfish Sam. Well, I keep my nose to the grindstone. Ha 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 ha. We're gonna buy an onion, a fat and juicy onion, an onion from Bermuda for Baron Barracuda. We'll have to get a mop to wipe away his tears, cause he's never gonna stop for years and Well, uh, boss, uh, you got any ideas? Shh! I am busy thinking. Quiet. Let us think. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, we gotta think. Uh, and will you please stop humming that silly song? Uh, anything you say, boss. Uh, hey, uh, you got any ideas yet? Hmm. The situation calls for a diversionary action. A what? A diversionary action. Let me illustrate. Watch my fins. Uh, hey, uh, what are you doing? Hey, don't hit me, Baron! Oh, you hit me with your tail! I thought you was gonna hit me with your fins! Exactly. That was a diversionary action. You expected a blow from the front? Instead, you got one from the rear. Gee, boss, did you have to hit me so hard? Yes. To remind you, I do not wish to be called boss. Call me Baron if you value your life. Okay, Baron, if you value your life. Uh. With Baron and Trigger trailing behind, our friends are looking for Sally, when suddenly, what should they see but a deep and mysterious valley? Say, I've never laid eyes in this place before. What do you make of it, Scout Fish? Ugh, this some Rudy Valley, gateway to Bermuda. It's lovely. Say, do you hear something? Yeah, I think I do. What? It, it sounds like a yeah, drum. That's just what it is. Say, look, there's Sergeant Major. Where he's marching with those fish over there. Looks mighty exciting. And look over there. There's Gilly the catfish. Let's ask him what's going on. Hey, Gilly! What's happening? Aha, uh -huh, man. Come on. I'm coming. 
putting on down to Otto's Grotto. Otto's Grotto? What's that? Well, that's Otto's pad, you know, like his place. Yeah, but who's Otto? Man, you tell me nobody's hip you to Otto the Octopus, the One Fish Band? Never heard of the fellow. Oh, well, man, he's just the swingin'est, coolest cat that ever copped the scene. Otto's hip to the whole jazz. But, but what does that mean? It means he's on to everything. I couldn't hear you, those drums. Boy, look at all those fish marching around. I didn't hear what you said, Gilly. Never mind, Miss Minerva. Just listen. Oh, it's a gas. Woo, it's a gas. Sure was a lot of fun. I'd like to come back here sometime. Goodbye, Gilly. Dig you later, man. Well, mateys, I think we better be shoving off again. It's close to eight bells. Ahoy there, Scout. What's our reckoning? Ugh, straight ahead. Sloppy Lagoon. Then turn them left. Not far. Sally's. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Come on, Let's go. Eddie. Come on. <laughs> There's a lady with a push cart. 
Pardon me, madam. Are you Sally who sells seashells by the seashore? No, I'm Molly Malone. I sell cockles and mussels alive, alive, oh. Sally's is a little further down the current. Thank you, Miss Molly. Yeah, much obliged, Miss Molly. Oh, this must be the place. Oh, yes. Look at the sign. It says Sally's Seashell Supermarket. Ahoy there, Marm. Might you be Sally? And is this your supermarket? Yes. They call me Sally Seashell, and welcome to my store. I hope that I may serve you. I've goods and goodies galore. I carry sails and tenpenny nails, and also baby shoes. And bells and shells, and wishing wells, and also cock-a-doodle-doos. I'll sell you chalk and crayons, or a pound of bubblegum. And winkies and twinkies, and chewies and gooies, and all kinds of yummy yum yum. There's only one thing wrong when I sing of the food in my store. I get so hungry, I eat it all up until there is no more. You mean... Yes, all the food is gone. I ate all the pies and the pastry shells without even putting the fruit in. Does this put you in a predicament? You're darn tootin'. Just when I was in the mood for some good old-fashioned Boston baked beans. I haven't any at all. No, uh, no, no Yankee beans? No. Uh, maybe uh, navy beans? No. Mm, lima beans? No. Uh, string beans? No. The only thing left to eat in the whole supermarket is, well, just an onion. An, an onion? onion? A Bermuda onion? Why, yes! Hooray! Yes, Goldie? What? Oh, my! What happened? Goldie said that Baron Barracuda has just stolen her smile. <laughs> oh, that awful Baron. Let's go get him. Right, let's go. Avast there, lovers. We ought to get some help. But if we hurry, we can catch him now. Well, first of all, Baron swims faster than any of us. Second, if I know the Baron... He's been planning this for a long time. He's probably got hiding places along the way. Along the way? To where? Sargasso Sea. Where else? That's his favorite hiding place. Yes, it is. But what do we do now? Only one thing to do, Miss Minerva. Get Diver Dan. Yeah, that's diver a good Dan. idea. Excellent. Finley, you go find the diver. Tell him what's been happening. Ask him to meet us at the Sargasso Sea by the Big Rock. Aye, aye, sir. Doc? You, Horace, and Sam, come with me. We'll pick up the Baron's trail. Come on, let's go. I'm dying to give the Baron a jab. I'd like to dissect him in my lab. We'll get nothing done if we sit here and gab. Let's shove off. What's that, Goldie? Will you get your smile back? <coughs> Don't worry, Goldie. Trust Diver Dan. Diver Dan can do anything. Skipper Kipper and Horace and Sam and Surgeon depart for Sargasso. But what will they use to capture the Baron? A lock or a chain or a lasso? Can Diver Dan come to the rescue? Is there any way he can help? Or will Baron and Trigger escape for good among the seaweed and kelp? They will never catch us now. Catch for sure, boss. Never, 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 never. Not as long as you're, boss. 
They can break out all the fish hooks. They can make a great big fuss. They will catch a lot of seaweed, but they'll never catch us. How come, boss? Uh, you got some idea, please? I have made a calculation, and the way I have it reckoned, if our friends come to Sargasso and hope to catch us in it, they must pull out one seaweed every single second for 27 years, one day, six hours, and a minute. Do you think that they will do it? Don't be silly, don't be silly. Gosh, I know, all the time you knew it. Naturally, naturally. Well, even if they caught you, all they try to do is scare you. But don't they realize that I come from Hungary? But they may call for diver Dan. Ooh, I forgot about that. Oh, well, what do we care? That's right. Here sure. we can do what we want to. That's right, boys. We will do our vicious deeds. Yeah, that's right, boys. Hiding here among the weeds. Completely out of sight, boys. They'll be puzzled and perplexed. Just exactly as I planned it. <laughs> Would you tell me once again? Cause I don't understand it. Well, listen a little harder. I'll explain it to you once again, Sponge Brain. I have made the calculation and the way I have it reckoned If our friends come to Sargasso and hope to catch us in it They must pull out one seaweed every single second for 27 years One day, six hours and a minute <laughs> And you still don't think they'll do it? Don't be silly, don't be silly Gosh, and all the time you knew it Naturally, naturally well, you're so smart that I gotta hand it to you. And if I could pronounce it, I would say, Hala, 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 Hallelujah! Sure is good to see you, Diver Dan. It was mighty nice of you coming down here to give us a hand. Oh, think nothing of it, Skipper. I'm only too glad to help. In a way, I almost feel as though it's my own fault. Uh, how's that? I should have watched the Baron. He tried this trick a while back, but don't you worry, because if we hurry, we'll fetch Goldie's smile back. You mean the Baron's try to steal someone else's smile, too? Yes, Fenley. Not only once or twice, he's done it pretty often. They say he has a thousand smiles. Locked up in a coffin. Gosh, that awful Baron. Say, Diver Dan, you figure the Baron's here in the Sargasso Sea? That's right, Sam. He's hiding here somewhere in the seaweed. Well, gosh, how are we going to find him? Ah, uh, that's easy. I've brought along a new invention called the Sea Sweep. Listen. Gosh, what a funny sound. It's a highly sensitive detector... And even underwater, it'll spot a radioactive isotope. A radioactive isotope? Wow. But how will that help us find the Baron? Very simple. The Baron doesn't know it, but when he left Sally's supermarket in Bermuda to swim toward the Sargasso Sea, he passed over some radioactive rocks. Now, these rocks shoot off tiny particles of radioactive material. Some of these particles are on the Baron's fins. And with this new device, we'll be able to locate him no matter how much seaweed there is. Say, that's terrific. Well, I don't understand all that fancy stuff, but if it'll help us get the Baron, I'm for it. That goes double for me. What do you say we get started? Righto, let's go. But remember, we must be quiet. Gee, boss, this sure is a swell hideout. Well, you see, Trigger, I plan. I anticipate. Anticipate, uh, um, well, whatever it is, uh, I'm sure glad I hooked up with you, boss. Don't say hooked up. Somehow I don't like the sound of those words. Shh! Did you hear a noise? I didn't hear nothing, boss. No, of course not. Who could ever find us here in the depths of the Sargasso Sea? Here we're as safe as... Well, there's nothing as safe as we are. In the future, when fish wish to describe how safe somebody is, they will say... As safe as Baron Barracuda and Trigger in the Sargasso Sea. Hey, that sounds good. Say it again. As safe as Baron Barracuda and Trigger in the Sargasso Sea. As safe as Baron Barracuda and Trigger in jail, you mean? What? 
We are trapped. Trigger, don't just think of something. Stand there. Well, that's what I'm doing. Don't make a move. I've got you covered. Hey, gee, boys, we're surrounded. Are we gonna go to jail? You fellas know the penalty for stealing someone's smile? Oh, what a disgrace. To be put in the brig with common thugs and hoodlums. Hmm, of course we might be able to let you go. Hmm? I am listening. Yeah, me too. We could make a deal. You open up your treasure chest and release all those smiles, we might let you go free. What, my treasure chest? No, never. Okay, Skipper, let's take them away. Wait. All right. You have won, Diver Man. I will open my treasure chest. It is my favorite collection, my prized possession, but you leave me no choice. Here is the chest under this ledge. I'll put the key in the lock. Baron, you should be ashamed of yourself. Why did you do it? I can't stand seeing people smile. It uh, irritates me. Why should other people be happy when I am so... Miserable. Uh, yeah, that's right, boss. Uh, miserable. Silence, idiot. Say, that reminds me. What about the onion test? Oh. That's right. We completely forgot about that. Yeah, what do you say we get going, Baron? No. Oh, yes. You agreed to take that test, and you're going to. Fenley? Yes, Dr. Yeah. I requisitioned this chain from our chain locker aboard the ship. I think you'd better wrap this around Baron and Trigger so they won't be able to give you the slip. That's a good idea. Let me help you, Diver Dan. Come here, you guys. But, uh, Diver Dan, you mean you're not coming with us? I'm afraid I can't, Fenley. My air supply is running low. Well, how about later or tomorrow? No, Finley, not for a while. I've been called away on a special assignment to the Pacific, to the Coral Atolls. I don't like atolls at all. Gee, I'm sorry you're going to miss the onion test. I have to get back to the ship now. Goodbye, friends, and good luck. Bye, Diver Dan. Bye, Diver. Auf Wiedersehen, Diver. So long, Diver Dan. Goodbye, Diver Dan. Gee, what a swell fellow. They don't come any finer than Diver Dan. Well, the fast there, lovers. Let's hoist our sails for Bermuda. Hey, oh, I goody. Can hardly wait. Yes, Goldie, I believe you're right. Here comes Finley and Skipper, and why, why they have the Baron and Trigger with them. Ahoy there, Miss Minerva and Goldie. We've got the Baron in tow. Have you got the onion? Right here, Skipper. All right, Baron, put your head here. How disgraceful. What a silly childish game. You agreed to play it. That's right. Start peeling, Miss Minerva. All right, Sam. Here. Off comes the first layer. How ridiculous. And here, here comes, comes the, the second, second layer. layer. I suppose you think that I'll cry. And here, here comes, comes the, the third, third layer. layer. I never heard of anything so silly in my whole life. And here, here comes, comes the, the fourth, fourth layer. layer. Look, I think he's beginning Shh, to really watch. And here comes the fifth layer. If you think I'm going to cry just because you're peeling that silly onion, you, you're absolutely... <laughs> Absolutely! Absolutely right! <laughs> All right. Oh, Gunny! Gunny! You know something? I think I'm beginning to cry myself. That's not surprising. Onion fumes. It's a scientific fact. Yeah, them fumes. They start to get old. 
air, them fumes. <laughs> I feel sorry for the Baron. Poor fellow. He can't help it if he's bad. Hey, you cheap boys. Uh, you know something? I'm sorry I've been such a dirty rat. Hey, you uh, Goldie. Well, I'm sorry we stole your smile. How about you, Baron? You sorry too, maybe? I'm sorry I'm crying. You mean you ain't gonna try to be good? Oh, how could I make such a promise? Perhaps I'll be a little less bad. Well, perhaps we should be thankful for that much. Maybe someday the Baron will be still less bad. Maybe someday the Baron will be good. What? Then destroy my career? No, never! After all, I have my reputation to think of. Yeah, that's right, puss. And as for you, you nincompoop, wait till I get you back to the Sargasso. So you're sorry for being such a dirty rat. Hey, gee, boss, how can I help it? Who's that stupid onion? Don't call me boss. Call me Baron. Otherwise, I'll give you a sound thrashing. Oh, okay, Baron. Otherwise, I'll give you a oh, sound thrashing. Well, yeah. well, I guess you can't change a leopard's spots or a Baron's monocle. You never know. I'm just glad we got Goldie her smile back, thanks to Diver Dan. Are you happy now, Goldie? You saw your smile approaching you, and you began to smile before it reached you. So, in other words, you really were able to smile all the while. So that if you're happy inside, your smile stays with you. Is that right? That's right, Miss Miller. Yeah, that's true, that's sure. true. Nobody can steal away the way you feel away. Away down deep inside of you That's something nobody can do That's something nobody can do Start chasing those cares away They tell me there's a way To frighten old Mr. Scares away Ask Mr. Smile what he can do Oh, a smile's a frown That had the sense to come in out of the Stayed a frown Cause the poor frown had no brain Your heart is a hideaway If someone tried a way To take your bright sunny side away That's something nobody can do That's something nobody can do That's something nobody can do Mr. Grimm around, you can't be happy with him around. That's something nobody can do. That's something nobody can do. Your troubles would ooze away if you could choose a way to frighten old Mr. Blues away. Ask Mr. Smile what he can do. Oh, a smile's a frown that's upside down and a clown. Refuses to give up on you till you give up on it. So nobody can steal away the way you feel away, away down deep inside of you. That's something nobody can do. That's something nobody can do. Thanks to Diver Dan, a thousand fish got back their smiles. What's more, we know our friends are safe from the wicked Baron's wiles. As for him and his henchman Trigger, they're really not so tough. A little onion made them cry, and that's punishment enough. So now we bid a sad farewell to our friends on the ocean floor. Who knows when we may meet again? and what adventures may lie in store. He moves among creatures of frightening features, flashing teeth, slashing jaws, flapping, wind slapping, cause he
protects and he saves his friends under the waves. That's where you'll find Diver Dan.